yeah, we are, we are building the PL Compass out of the last weeks and it started super well during the design phases and ideations in the launch pad. So great. A shout out to everyone who made it real and possible to organize it. But basically, even out of it, we have defined that we want to build a solution for everyone working at PL and also externally to have a discoverability for projects which are being created in PL in GitHub. And in order to improve discoverability and traceability of the projects developed, running and deprecated by people at Protocol Labs, without also the need for the manual database management. What we see for many existing solutions, what was the problem is kind of maintenance of the databases and no one really put an effort to do so. Uh, projects are being, tables being outdated and then there is no source of information which you can reliably trust in uh, a certain amount of time. What we wanted to build in this case was a simple website similar to existing ecosystem file coin.io and other dashboards, but which will be focusing on navigating across existing tools, across existing GitHub projects, and across developers in protocol apps for better structure and discoverability and love for the projects being created in PL. And the core for our functionality was better UI for understanding what's happening for all of the PL projects, discoverability of the projects, and highlight stuff that's already been developed and identify the main developers. We also had a vision for across the development. Feel free to join our mirror boards. I'll, happy, I'll be happy to invite everyone and also share our resources. Uh, I want to give a shout out also to I want also to highlight the work of Russell. Without him, the work, this project will not be possible at all. And he put a tremendous effort in building it uh, all from scratch. So thank you also. Thank a lot to Russell. And this is what we were envisioning for our project and the next steps. So we'll have a landing page where a certain projects will be discoverable, uh, also with some statistics, but uh, the, the core functionality will be a search of all the repositories which are on, inside the PL and uh, in all the repositories, main core repositories such as IPFS, Filecoin, and lib uh, then obtain all the collaborators out of it and then retrieve from all the collaborators all the GitHub projects which they have ever developed either within the PL or basically any public projects. This will give us an outlook of a who is working in PL or a contributor of a PL and uh, all the projects which we govern. And then once we have this database, we can also query backwards and see additional information in the same website. First on repository click, who is developing it, who is maintaining it, who is the owner of it, and whom can I address uh, if I have questions, issues, or want to have additional information about it. Also, we can have a we will have a functionality of all on contributor click where we see a lot of problems people to discover how can I reach a certain person or how can I contribute to a project, et cetera, et cetera. So from, this, from the same database, when we click on a person, uh, we can also get all the projects he contributes to and his PL affinity and how to reach him, how to talk to a human in one single step button, something like that. And from here, I would actually love to give the floor to Russell to also show us the demo. So it's all real, it's all live, and I'm happy to give you the floor. Thanks, Constantine. I uh, was late on the um, unauthenticated GitHub rate limiting implementation. So on, on the uh, public site, uh, you can go to it now, um, and the data is being cached so that eventually when it loads, it will stay in your local storage for up to 24 hours. Um, session storage, technically, but also local storage. If you go to pl-compass.on.fleek.co, you can see that we're pulling in a bunch of repos here. We've got some filtering. Um, there's currently a bug where it'll do the uh, sorting when you click into the filter. So that's not. Can you fun. zoom in into the website page? Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me. Um, yeah, right now we're not doing pagination or anything. I'm just um, querying ecosystem dashboard, the site that we use for uh, our triage sessions and things like that, because there's already a lot of GitHub scraping being done there. Um, so I'm just calling, you know, the the file system 
um, or uh, sorry, Filecoin and LibP2P and the IPFS ecosystem dashboard sites and getting just, you know, the first 20 results from those. And I'm um, sorting by ecosystem store to begin ecosystem score, which is something that's implemented there um, in the query to the ecosystem dashboard. There is um, sorting and you can hold shift to sort by stars and um, then by subscribers and different things, you know, so multi multi sort here works. Um, and then you can search globally across all of them to search for something like JavaScript. Um, it doesn't currently search on the right hand side because these are these these uh, last two columns are generated on the fly. But um, but it is currently querying GitHub for the top three contributors. So there's no uh, owner per se for all of these uh repositories um and if there is we haven't implemented anything to to retrieve anything that exists now but hopefully uh part of this project can go towards establishing owners inside of these repos um but yeah we plan on adding some pagination and getting all of the repos here and then you ideally you would search for like hey i want to do something with um tokens, you know, or whatever else, and it would search all of those. Also, there's no backend storage currently. So it's all generated on the fly. But since it's cached, you know, it'll it'll pop up immediately for you. Um, this one is yeah, still loading. I, I beat up the GitHub API. So um, yeah, but it's currently linking to uh, GitHub here, linked to the org here. Um, this will take you to the full contributors page on GitHub. Um, and then these links link uh, to the actual contributors pages themselves. But we plan on adding some links to the ecosystem dashboard or ecosystem research pages as well, because there's a lot of stats and data on there. Um, but yeah, a part of all of this work, there's been some improvements um, made to the ecosystem dashboard page. If you look on the ecosystem dashboard uh, repository, uh, there's multiple of them too. There's one for Filecoin and other, but I've been working a lot with Andrew and Andrew has done a ton of, Andrew Nesbitt, he's done a ton of updates to the existing uh, ecosystem research, ecosystem dashboard sites. Uh, as part of this work. So huge thanks to Andrew as well for all his support. The main plan for us is right now to build either a new database, which will start populate the data. So it's consistent, which we can query afterwards and then build on top of this functionality, all the features which we have discussed and will be describing. Everything is also linked to our GitHub. And if anyone is interested or is seeing potential in it, feel free to contribute. So this will be an ongoing project. And I think the more we develop it, the more handy it will be for everyone inside PL to navigate across what's happening all around the world. So Definitely. that being said, I would just say again, thanks to everyone who made the launchpad possible. It was an awesome time even uh, to, 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 to take part of it to take part in it. Thank you.